Warning, the following contains adult language. It is intended for a strictly comedic and satirical way. If you are sensitive to shit talk and laughing, then I suggest you leave now. Ladies and gentlemen, Sinful Black presents Talk Yo Shit with your host, Hollywood, Jay Black, and Big Motherfucking Sin. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, aka Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again. Back with a little something new. This is Talk Yo Shit. But I, as you know, I ain't alone. I got my man's, my main man, Big MF and Sinners in the building. How you doing today, sir? I am doing good, good, good. It's a holiday weekend. This video will actually premiere on Labor Day, like any good sh wholesome show would. Um, <laughs> but we're not so wholesome. Uh, no, not at all, not at all. So just to kind of break down, we've been talking about this for a while. A lot of our friends missed the old off the rails uh, shows that we used to do. I miss them too, but our livers definitely don't miss them. And so it was one of those things where we had to decide if humor was more important than alcohol, and yes, humor is more important than alcohol, but how can we deliver it in a way that is going to be beneficial to all? So we decided that me and Big Sin were going to drop this show called Talk Your Shit. Now, the rules is very simple. We pick five topics. We get three minutes to discuss each topic, but we're going to talk hella shit uh, about said topic. So... Uh, without further ado, we got something big on the horizon. Um, are you ready? I am ready to talk Ooh. my shit. Are you ready to talk your shit? Oh, I stay ready talking my shit. That's all I do on a daily basis is talk shit. So, let's get to the first topic of the day. Oh. A white George Washington University professor admits that she falsely claimed her black identity. When I first saw this, I was like, Rachel Dolezal's working at George Washington University? But no, this is actually a new lady. Her name is Jessica Krug. Um, she, apparently she's been uh, parading around as a um, island, uh, like a Pacific, like not Pacific, like a, like a Jamaican, like a mixed Jamaican or mixed Dominican, uh, somewhere around there. And she's actually Jewish. Um, and that's, and she called herself not necessarily a culture vulture, but a culture leech. Uh, that's self-described. I'm, I'm, I'm not roasting. We're not roasting yet. This is, that's what she said. I, I know Big Sin, you're shaking your head over there. Uh, <laughs> in shock and in awe. So if, let's get right to it. You got three minutes up, sir? All right, so we got three minutes starting in three, two, one. Talk yo shit. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the first thing I have to say about this. What the actual fuck? Um, I, I, I... <sighs> okay, so what I'm going to say is, since you're a little lost for words right now, is um, I know this new generation, this new culture, they like to identify as different objects like cats and dogs and giraffes and whatever the fuck they want to identify with. Yeah. But identifying as another race when you're not actually a race is a little shitty and just bad. <laughs> just bad. Like, you would think that this person would have learned watching Rachel Dolezal four years ago go through the whole ringer and a half. You think that she, the people would have learned then, but no, we're going to hop on a higher horse than the high horse that she was on, like a fucking Trojan horse to say, I'm black even though I'm Jewish. That's the problem. She tried to hop on a Trojan and not a Magnum. Um, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so with cultural appropriation nowadays, it is really bad when... Somebody's like, oh, yeah, I identify as a black person. Motherfucker, you as white as anybody, dog. Huh. 
You know what? This is what we're going to do. I would we're going we're gonna to identify as things that we want and maybe we can achieve those things. I identify myself as multi-billionaire Jeff Bezos. How does that sound? I identify myself as the guy who created Windows, Bill Gates. <laughs> I identify myself as um I don't know. Anybody but who I am that's richer than me, okay? <laughs> I identify myself as Hollywood J. Black, and I'm back in the building once again. Yeah, yes, and I identify myself as Big Sin, secure of all things physical, mental, and emotional. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, identify, I identify myself as Deadpool. I got cancer and I kill everybody. I identify myself as uh, billionaire Tony Stark, rocking an Iron Man suit, flying across the world. I identify, I identify myself... As Justice League, Henry Cavill, ooh, Photoshop out my mustache. <laughs> Whole Photoshop, huh? God damn. Oh. Come on, 30 seconds. Come on, 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> I identify myself as the wall that watched Bill Clinton uh, get sucked off by Monica Lewinsky. That's how I identify myself as, because he knows the whole story. I identify myself as... Cultural appropriation hero. <laughs> we got five oh. seconds. You got anything else? Three, I identify myself two, as a bottle one, of Hennessy, so I get done. drunk all the time. Done. Yes. No more. Done. 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 I win. Oh, no. <laughs> there are no winners. This you is are not a competition. Spotify. You talk <laughs> after the bell. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so... All right, so what is our next topic on the agenda? Uh, all right, boom. The next topic topic is one that I hold dear to my heart. I know you're going to love this one. Uh, a high school in Robstown, Texas, uh, is known as, for their mascot. And they've just been outed as the Cotton Pickers. Now, this is a high school in Texas. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> are, 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 are you are uh, you are you the mascot? I'm a cotton picker. Oh God! Uh, so the, apparently the mascot. Uh, I, I I don't know if there's a physical mascot, but they have a tree on the logo, and the tree is a big ass tree of cotton. Okay, um, and apparently this school has been known as the cotton pickers for so long, not because they are known for slavery, but the small Mexican community that lives there does nothing but actually pick cotton. Now, when I saw this, I had few words and many words and no words and all the words at the same time. But instead of me just dwelling on this, I figured I'd bring it to you and bring it to us in the universe. So, Big Sid, are you ready to talk about this? All right, so the timer starts in three, two, one. Talk. Yo, shit. You went first, so you go. All right, so here I go. Pick an L cotton. Pick an L cotton. A S S A S A S A. Why? What? Who thought that in twenty in in the two thousands this was acceptable? Who thought this that that in 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 nineteen eighty something <laughs> this was acceptable? Why? Why? So I, I understand grandfather clauses, but I didn't think racist terms qualify for grandfather clauses. Uh, th to call somebody the, uh, the cotton pickers, like there's a million names like they, that they could have used. Like they could have used a bobcat, a wildcat, a bird, a turd, uh, any any animal, person, place, or thing. Even call themselves the mighty flag bearers. I don't know anything. But cotton well, Uncle, Uncle Jebediah says we are a completely Latino community and they like to pick the cotton, so we're gonna call our school the cotton pickers. Yes. And then I've I've looked at news reports and people are proud of this name. And I just wanna what the fuck is wrong with you? They're like, it's ours, it's our heritage. I'm like, who paid you to say that? Who paid you to say that your care your heritage is cotton picking? That's what I wanna know. Who that's not a heritage. That's not a heritage. Okay, cotton picking is probably. I know it's a hard job to do. It gets hot. You get splinters. You're outside. You're doing this, that. It's in Texas. 
But, <laughs> but you do not name your football team after cotton picking or your school mascot after cotton picking. The fuck is wrong with you? The worst part about this team is this team has not been relevant in the last 10 years. It is steady. Their football team has literally been on the bottom of the high school division for the last 10 years. And it's because they keep picking cotton. I, I would assume at this point that's what it is. It's 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 whatever universal karmic, uh, uh, whoever controls karma is their way of saying, you know what? Fuck this, fuck that, and fuck you. <laughs> this is, this, okay, so... I don't think they've had a winning record in like over a decade, if yeah. even that, if they've ever had one. But it goes to show, so, all right, black teenagers coming into the school to play this team. Cotton tickets, we're going to kill these motherfuckers. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Ima imagine, imagine them playing even Rancho, the Rancho Rams. Rancho, as bad as they are in Vegas, would have stomped all over them and walked a mud hole dry. The, my, the damn cotton pickers. What the I fuck? I, like I said, I understand you're proud of your heritage and you're proud of the work that your community does as a living, but there's a certain line you got to draw when you're picking a team mascot. And guess what? <laughs> That's the line. <laughs> that is about three minutes up. <laughs> That is the line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. Um, what is our next topic, Mr. Black? All right. I'm going to pull it up for you in just a moment because i got to do this manually now. Let's see. It's going to be a fun one. Well, at least you're not picking cotton. No. No, we're, we're not picking co cotton. Cotton. What do we got? Right, what do so, we got? What do we got? So the next one is going to be a video i got to play. I got I, I, it's a video I think I've sent you and I said yes, that sir. you're going to have to play this one cuz this is we we've now gone to the depths of this shit and I'll let you know when I'm ready to play. Are you ready to ready? Um do, 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 beep, do, 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 beep, beep. I am ready to play, sir. All right, go ahead and play and I will play it for the audience. All right, we have a Georgia deputy Going to go and um, looks like serve a warrant or maybe a yeah a warrant or something like that. Yes. Is it human as shit? There, is this bitch's camera dirty as fuck. Oh no, the camera's dirty as fuck. Don't even worry about it. Hold on, we're still just give it a second because it's not playing on my end. Why is it not? All right, more editing. <laughs> yes, more editing. Why is it Let me know when you got a plan. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, ready. Let's go. Are you ready? Okay. Go. All righty. Uh, cop pulls up to serve a warrant. Right. So, Georgia, dirty ass camera. Wipe your shit off so you can see the wrong shit you do sometimes. I know, right? That's good. Go ahead. 1915 West Fairfield. Alright, they got a little doggy gate there. Alright. Oh, yeah. Camera right up in that moment. Like, ah! Dang, you need to clean that camera. Jesus. Nah, that's so he can hide the shit that he's doing. This is she, unfortunately, and she doing some dirt, apparently. Oh, that was a good call. Look like she rolled in a fucking... She took a shower with the camera in the fucking bathroom and shit. Well, I know, it looks like it. Sounds like it. I don't know. It's all bad. It's all dirty and shit. What the fuck? Shit. But trust me, this is not us, ladies and gentlemen. This is real life. So this was September 1st, 2020. Yep. So this happened five days ago. Oh, yeah. So lady walks back to the car. Uh, yeah, I guess nobody was home. <laughs> yeah, she left the door open and there's a surprise visitor over there. Get out! Go! Get out! Goddamn goat! Come on! Ah! Come on. Tom Brady's in out. the Tom Brady's in the car. The goat. First off, that's what you get for leaving the damn door open. Get out! 
go like, don't touch my ass, bitch. Yeah, I'll eat your paper. <laughs> like, ah, oh, shit. Hey, her camera got clean, you know, all of a sudden. Oh, all of a sudden? Oh, now the camera's clean. Yeah, she got the, she got the, by the horn. She said, bitch, I will eat your seat. Get out. That's right, grabbing the goat by the horn, damn it. Grab the goat by the horn. Oh. Come on. <laughs> That goat, you know that goat must be used to get that goat. You on the road? Hold on, I didn't see some water. I think it kicked. I think it kicked the coffee cup. I'm about to say, I'm like, damn, fucking goat. Damn, get out of the car. He said, he's like, you ain't serving warrants to nobody, bitch. Huh? Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Hang on. Dog, dog, dog. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, bitch. Oh, he hit butter there. Oh shit, she's gonna need that go check now. Oh, oh, he's gonna knock oh, her over! Oh, oh. oh no! That go was playing dirty! That goddamn go was a dirty mother lover! Yeah, she got up out of there. She got the <laughs> heck up out of there. Oh man. Alright, alright, sir. We have three minutes, so you start this one. You ready to talk your shit? Go. Yes. First off, how are you going to let Tom Brady into the car without saying, hey, champ, how you doing? That's the first thing. First well, also, Chris Jericho just sitting up in the car just like, oh, I'm going to read me some paperwork. I know, right? Michael Jordan just looking up looking up through the warrants, got to make sure nobody on, on the basketball thing is guilty. Nothing he's got to take personal, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no. no. Fucking, fucking dog ate my homework looking ass, bitch. Oh, look at uh, what the, how the hell, see, see, this is what happens when you go to a farm and looking for prostitution for FarmersOnly.com. See, this is what happens. This is why we don't fuck with FarmersOnly.com. Sometimes you get the farmers, sometimes you get the goat. Oh. <laughs> oh, this bitch straight up got the goat. She pulled on his horn. He was like, bitch. He, she went back there. She smacked him on the ass. He like, bitch, bitch. And then he took it out on her. He headbutted her. He knocked her down. The dogs came, tried to rape her. Uh -huh. yeah. He came over. And he's like, "Be you like a rough bitch, huh? Huh? Yo, you pulling my tail and shit, smacking me on the ass? Oh, Woo, go, look, go look at her like, mm, girl, do it again, do it again, huh? Ooh, Nelly. He's like, Ooh, let me get that good, good palm, he hit her right in the crotch. Oh, oh, yeah, that um, hurt. yeah, That's yeah. Right. It tastes like, tastes like pussy juice. <laughs> all bad, all bad. I'm like. The woman, why did you leave your door open? Oh, what's oh my fucking god! You and oh. the, the, the you know oh, she, girl saw, she had the wop, but she had the gap. She got that gap, that go ass. <laughs> that go ass penis. That's uh, what that was. And, and, and the camera was dirty. You know she be covering up police brutality. You know what I'm saying? I got the little camera, stain the camera on. was dirty until the goat started attacking her. Then she cleaned that shit off. That's no, right. She's like, no, oh, she's I got catchy shit. No, <laughs> nobody gonna believe me. Oh lord. Uh, and how she go? She gonna go back to the precinct, you know? Motherfuckers gonna be in the holding cell because you know it's a small town in Georgia. She gonna be like, you know, this go did this. Motherfuckers like, with well, my paperwork there. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Go in my paperwork, not guilty. You know how many people just got off on warrants and everything just now? Damn, she go gotta go throw all that shit back up again. <laughs> then to go kick the coffee coffee cup or pissed in a coffee cup, one of the two. One of the I two was all bad. Shit would shoot somewhere. Who, <laughs> I heard of who peed in your Cheerios, but damn, who peed in your coffee cup? God damn. Tom Brady uh, took a piss on his bitch center console. He, the damn goat piss in excellence, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like she grabbed that motherfucker by the horn, he was like, oh, you want it like that, huh? Uh, oh, you know what I'm saying? I heard her grab life by the horns, but god damn, really? Yeah. I'm oh. sorry, I'm not going to walk up on Michael Jordan and grab his ass by the horn. he probably sue me. Huh, you know what I'm saying? And you going to take it personal. That moment, I took it personally. I took it personal. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh. girl, that girl got out the car like, bitch, I'm going to eat your seat. I'm going to eat the rest of your paperwork. I'm going to eat your fucking radio. I'm going to eat your PA. Dogs, get over here. Fuck this bitch. And we are done with this rap. Dog's like, walk, dog's like, walk to, watch this shit. Watch this shit. Watch this shit right here. Watch this shit. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. <laughs> All right. You got another topic you got to boot up? No, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right on, right on, right on. <laughs> that goat was like, nom, 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 nom. Oh, 
All right, you ready for this one? What? Okay, what do we got on deck now, sir? All right, as if 2020 didn't get any winner, pop pow Carol Baskin, star of the Tiger King, has just announced that she is joining the Dancing with the Stars crew. Now, for those of you that don't know who Carol Baskin is, you must have been living under a rock this whole entire quarantine because the Tiger King was the rave of April, May, and June. And now, now she's she's picked up on that stardom. It's catapulting her to new heights. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, although the, the 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 list of people that are on Dancing with the Stars is actually hilarious, this is the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in 2020. I just, are you ready? I, are you ready to talk your shit? Yes. Get ready to talk your shit. In three, two, one, go. Carol Baskin killed her husband, and now she's gonna kill all all the viewers on TV. No, nah, she ain't gonna kill the viewers. This bitch gonna win this shit because she gonna threaten the, threaten the judges with her fucking tigers and shit. Oh my god, I, I could actually see that happening. We, like we we're initially gonna give you a zero out of ten, but after some consideration, we've decided to, to award you the trophy. Now we don't even need to play the rest of the season. You're the winner. Judges, judges sitting up there like this and shit. <laughs> huh. <laughs> It's not, it's not enough that she got awarded Joe Exotic Zoo for no fucking reason. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's I. It, it, you want to talk about a culture vulture? I mean, she took advantage of old rich men and gay men in order for her to be able to get her get her fortune. That that's horrible. This shit, this shit had a animal sanctuary that was worse than Joe Exotic's farm. Yes, and still, and her husband disappeared. Uh, and her husband just so happened to be a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Which means that when he died, she became a multi-millionaire. Like I said. And, uh, the day after he was announced dead, she inherited all his money and then started a fucking Facebook channel and a YouTube channel talking about, Hi, I'm Carol Baskins. I do this, 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 and that. And you know what's fucked up? Is that after... After they uh he found dead, all of a sudden the prenup pops up. <laughs> I mean the will. I'm sorry, the will pops up. Yeah, after. the will popped up the day after that they couldn't they couldn't investigate no more that he was you know gone the day after. And then this bitch going married even richer dude. Yeah, right. But this richer dude has been been has been her bitch ever since. Have you seen this dude? Have you seen the calendar that they dressed up for? Oh, I wish I could have showed them photos. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, well, this chick, she must really got that good good. If she getting these rich motherfuckers coming there and just hold on, let's let's be real. If you watch Tiger King, within thirty minutes of that shit, you knew that bitch was crazy. Yes. If if I told you the plot of Tiger King without mentioning the word Tiger King, you'd be like, "What the fuck kind of show is this? I need to watch this now." And then I, oh, I want to watch a show about meth people, gay guys, and three way marriage. Yeah, he woke up and dragged his balls across my face and Carol fucking baskets. All right, but that's okay. That's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. He had oh. well, how 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 Joe Exotic say he had the most beautiful balls. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Really? Carol Baskins. Come on, James. You gotta sing this. You gotta sing this song. Well, Carol Baskins killed her husband. <laughs> she fed him to a tiger, and he shit him out. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the song. <laughs> All right. So, oh, and now it's just the perfect timing because there is the alarm. Oh. All right. All right, Hollywood. I know we saved the best for last. Yeah. <laughs> We you know what? I'm going to do something special only for this episode. You know what I'm going to do right now? What? I'm going to give us five minutes for this final topic. Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit all week long. All week long. This is the this is the moment that YouTube has been waiting for because they've been waiting for this moment. For all their lives. Oh. Even, even though they didn't know this show was going to exist today. But you know, if it's a, it's a, it's a talking shit show, you know that this had to be done. You knew. 
You knew. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready, sir? Yes. What is our topic here again? Uh, Mitchell Gun Kelly. I'm not even going to call him Machine Gun. Mitchell Gun Kelly uh, has won himself a uh, VMA for alternate music. Oh, God. He didn't even win it in hip hop. That's, that's already as it is. But that's not the thing that came out of this uh, whole situation, ladies and gentlemen. MGK came to the VMAs rocking the pinkest of pink outfits that you have ever seen in your entire life. Now, the people on Twitter may be praising and, and, and saying, yo, this is beautiful, more power to pink and all that jazz. This is a roast show, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to do any of that here. There's no praising. Praising? <laughs> all right. All right. There are literally, I can't see it because it's too bright, five minutes on the clock. Are you ready to talk your shit, sir? Yes, I'm ready to talk my shit. Three, two, one, talk it. Eminem really killed this man, didn't he? This isn't Machine Gun Kelly. I don't care what anybody tells me. Machine Gun Kelly died two years ago. My man, um, my man looked like Kirby and swallowed Karen and Betty White at the same time. That's what put the pearl necklace out his neck. Oh, oh no, oh no. I think, oh my God, there's so much things I could say about this one. Between the all pink and the pearl necklace. My man, my, my, Eminem nutted on his whole career and gave him a pearl necklace. There you go. There you go. Okay. MGK looking like fucking, um, what the hell is his name? Chris Jenner before the surgery, after the surgery, what his dick got cut off. Oh my God. The, the worst part about this whole outfit, all right, I'm, I, I can live with maybe, maybe live with the pink pants. Right, maybe, because they're slacks, okay? But how in the bloody fuck did you come up with this shirt with this halter with, with what's what's this the turtleneck this what the a sleeveless turtleneck? My nigga wear my nigga wear the um a sleeveless turtleneck hop halter top. That shit what was it on eight mile? That pink shirt yelled, I don't fit you. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Who who's whose style is greenlit this? Who allowed this to happen? All right, and then the worst part. I can part tell you the... who. I can tell you who. Who? Diddy, Diddy, that nigga Diddy. <sighs> I told you, Eminem didn't kill this man. MGK died in the house fire after he blew himself up after listening, um, uh, after listening. To the, the, the so, record. so okay, so MGK comes out, fires off Rap Devil. Mm. Then Eminem's like, "All right, I'm gonna release Kill Shot." Next thing we know. Fucking Machine Gun Kelly's doing alternative rock, not even rapping no more. Dressing up like a fucking Golden Girl, like he's getting ready to go hang out with Ethel and shit. He's doing alternative rap in in in, uh, in Netflix movies. That's what apparently he's doing. Um, everybody's like, too bad the only heat he has is getting burned up in fucking that new Jamie Foxx movie on Netflix. Could you imagine thinking you have a rap career and then not being good enough to do rap? So now you have to do alternative music and. And, and I'm trying to figure out who gave him this alternative record. Didn't I Prevail just drop an album last year? I would think yes, that but, I, I... But you got to remember, Eminem said it best. You diss me on a track so you can get a million views. Congratulations, I just gave you a career. Yeah, he gave him an alternate rock career. Uh, uh, but he, but he, I, I... 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 I'm looking at this, and he's look. He's like, not only is he kissing the VMA, he's like trying to make out with the Moon Man at this point. He's like, I've never won one of these. Yes, the reason he never won one because his music was garbage. Homeboy had one good song, and that was um, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Steve. Oh, I'm a wild boy. I'm a I'm a wild boy. But fucking Rap Devil, he didn't even write that shit. Somebody else wrote that shit for him. Oh, my God. Like, who? I, I'm just sitting here, and I'm just like, you really let this man end your career. You had the transition into a new art style. And then you come in here looking like Kurt Cobain's ex-wife, Courtney Love. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like it ain't MGK. This is Courtney Love. I don't care what anybody says. Did, you know, this motherfucker went to the hairstylist and got his hair did like Karen. Dude, this is the Courtney Love hairstyle. I've seen Courtney Love recently. This is Courtney Love. I don't. You're not. Nobody's gonna convince me otherwise that this is MGK. This is Courtney Hold on. Love. Hold on. What's this, the other outfit? He's got a fucking 
blue tracksuit on. You got this fucking button. His fucking zipper was turned down. Oh. There's only one. All right, so uh, hip hop. There's only two. I'm gonna start calling this. I'm gonna start calling this cat. Most scout Karen. That's what MGK wow, said. Most... There's only two niggas in hip hop that are allowed signed, sealed, and approved to wear pink. It's Cameron and it's Fat Joe because they did it fucking right. They had the zoot suits. Um, and Cameron had the pink meek fur with, with but he had black on. With, you know what I'm saying? Like he rocked that shit. This you nigga, know what? I'm also gonna, I'm gonna throw somebody else in there that's Andre three thousand. All right, fine. We'll give you that. After that, that's it. You know, there's no more. None. 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 You, you don't get no seal of approval. This right here is what's wrong with America. Right? <laughs> that's right. Bro. I said it. Whoever thought this looked Bro. good is who's what's wrong with America. Mad gals fucking carrying over there. Got a VMA for a fucking rock song. Probably one that he didn't even write. And he talks about on Kill Shot, you only saw Eight Mile on the Nordic track. Motherfucker, you moved out of Cleveland. This is, and ever since Kamikaze, uh, Eminem dropped a dropped another hit album. What? And this nigga, I don't know what he done did. He did this. This is what he did, ladies and gentlemen. This. 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 So I'm this. I'm letting the buzzer run out. I'm machine gun Kelly right this. now. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I can go 30 minutes doing this if I really wanted to, but I know we can't. We have rules, and we must follow the rules. And first I mean, rule yes, is... Because it was the first episode, I did say, okay, we'll give us two more minutes on the final topic. <laughs> but um, so we're going to end this video here. This is Sinful Black Presents Talk Yo Shit. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're on Facebook, like and follow. What do you got for him, James? Uh, make sure that... Uh, you, when you follow us on Facebook, uh, you make sure you get notified. You, you lock it in that way you know that you like and follow us. You get all the notifications when we drop stuff. Same thing on uh, YouTube. And just make sure, before we end this episode, if you're going to wear pink, don't wear a sleeveless turtleneck, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not just not the business. It's, Machine, it's Gun the Kelly's went out, Machine Gun Kelly's rap career went out faster than the... So things we have learned from today's episodes, do not wear a pink turtle necklace, uh, turtleneck with a pearl necklace. Do not culturally uh, d disappropriate yourself. Uh, do not call your football team the cotton pickers. Um, do not leave your door open on a farm. And more importantly, do not, uh, do not kill your husband unless you have a tiger. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, my name is Big Motherfucking Sin. That man, I don't know where the fuck he is on this screen right now. That is, I'm just going to do this, Hollywood J. Black. That's right. And we are out of this bitch. Deuces.